here, Capricorn. Welcome. Okay, this is your bonus April 2023 reading. Now, I do update my camera, so I'm having a couple little technical issues here. Um, I'm looking at a little, little screen as far as what I'm seeing on the table here. And if you looked at the Sagittarius, you could tell it's way off. So, um, it's going to take a little adjusting here. But we're good. We're all good. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. What's going on for Capricorn? Ooh, we're starting out with the Ten of Cups. How sweet it is. Yes. And the Ten of Swords. So you're ending something that's bringing you in happiness here. Or it could, or it could be you're ending something to do with your uh, family, your um, by, um, your home security, or something. You might put an end to something here. And a Six of Cups. Ooh, what is this? Are you revisiting the past or someone from the past wants to revisit you? Okay. And we have here the Seven of Pentacles. Well, you're looking over this. You're thinking about it. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. You do like your independence, though. And we have the Eight of Wands. Okay. All right. So you're ending something here. Something has to come to end. There's a conclusion that has to be reached here. So something has to end. All right. So now, I hope these are straight. I don't think they are. Okay. All right. So... So there is something coming back from the past. This could be anything. Could be a friend. Could be a lover. Could be um, a job. Someone you worked with before. You know, anything could be coming back or wants to come back. And you're thinking about this, but there's definitely you're focusing on your money. You're doing quite well here. I mean, the the Nine of Pentacles is the card right before the Empress, which one is the most abundant card in the deck. And something's going to take off. If you're starting your own business, if you know, it's going to take off. It's going to do really well. We have here the sun. Happiness. Leo energies. Happiness is coming in for you. Okay, let's start clarifying. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Capricorn? Ooh, we have the animal console here. So there's a judgment going on. Maybe all the family's gathering together. <laughs> make a judgment they made they're kicking someone out <laughs> what's going on here yeah this is the judgment card this is all the animals are getting together in the forest and they're making the decision something to do with the home the family it's a happy um outcome though but why is the ten of swords here what's that all about it's very interesting isn't it fascinating Ooh, you might be kicking out the big guy <laughs> we have here the giant this is, see, is in his beard there. I don't know if this is coming in. It might be coming in all messy. I'm, I'm, I can't tell. I, I don't see what's going on here. But in his beard is all bones of humans. So this giant captures humans and eats them. So with the five of challenges, this is saying you're putting an end to someone. They might have gathered a family meeting and said, you know, we're not tolerating something here. If someone was doing something, starting trouble, being a troublemaker in the family, you're stopping it. You're putting an end to it. It's done. Because Five of Swords is, like this Five of Challenges like the Five of Swords. This is um, some kind of conflict, gossip. Whatever it is, is over. And what about the Six of Cups? Ooh, okay. This is... The Seven of Boons. So this is um kind of interesting. This is here we have the um the Seven of Pentacles. This is like the same thing, but there's many opportunities, many doors, many choices here. So if something's returning from the past, you have a lot of options with this. There might be a different ways to approach this or different ways to um handle something here from the past. You'll know what that means for you. Okay, what about the seven of pet? Oh, look who wanted to turn over on me. Okay, so this is suspension. Yeah, like Pisces energy. This is someone is waiting. You know, they're, it looks like there's something you have, you're reevaluating, you're thinking about, but you know, you don't have to rush it. Take your time. It's not going anywhere. You'll gain a better perspective. Now, why do we have the Nine of Pentacles? What's that all about? Okay, so we have, okay, this is a liar. So this is, um, this is Capricorn. This would be like the devil energy. So you've, someone's coming in that maybe they, they didn't tell the truth and you might be breaking off and separating something here, doing your own thing, um, 
You're not trusting this person. Okay, what about this Eight of Wands? Whoa, something's going to move quickly here. Oh, no, this is Four of Spells. I thought this was the Fairies. Okay, Four of Spells. So, yeah, there's... um. There's something coming towards you quickly. It's going to be an opportunity here. Maybe something that you passed on in the past might be returning for a second look. Because you do have the Six of Cups. You do have the Seven of Pentacles. And now you have the Four of Spells. So you might have missed out or thought you missed out on an opportunity. But it might be returning. Coming in quickly here. Taking another look at something. Okay. And then we have... Okay, you might be taking it, starting something new, starting a new beginning. The white heart is like the full card. A new beginning, a new start, taking a leap of faith. Aries, Aquarius energy. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what else we have for you. What else is going on here? What else? Ooh, we have the Six of Pentacles. Someone could be, um... With the Six of Pentacles, maybe if you apply for a loan, you're going to get the loan. Or someone's trying to balance something out. It's, it feels like even maybe a bonus or a reward might be coming in. Or someone's trying to give something to you. Someone might be trying to help you in some way. Might be helping you financially. Or might be, you know, offering to help you in some sort of way here. And we have the Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. There's a victory here. You're getting noticed for something. You might be getting compensated for something you didn't get compensated before. And now you're getting recognized, you're getting the money, you're getting um, the, um, can't think of the word. But yeah, you are getting recognized here, or there's something coming in. There's something in your favor anyway. There's a victory. Knight of Swords. Okay, first court card. So we have here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone might be coming in quick towards you. Ooh, they have love for you. Ooh, look at this. There's a heart, and on the heart, there's a little anchor. So, someone's coming in. A lot of love for you, and they want a commitment. Okay, let me get a Knight of Swords. Coming in quick. Failure is not an option with the Knight of Swords, you know. They're coming. Okay. We have here justice. They might be coming in to bring you justice. Libra energy. Trying to make things correct. This could also go with this too. Maybe someone you're in a connection before in a relationship. Whether it's business or... And this person loves you though. Um, whether it's business or um, whether it's love. And maybe they didn't contribute. Now they want to make things right. They want to straighten things out. It's contract too. We have the anchor here. We have the... Um, the justice, which could be a, con a legal contract. And we have the star. Your hopes and wishes and dreams might be coming true here. Aquarius energy. Okay. Or you could be actually getting a lot of attention. You could be in the spotlight attention. And we have... Then this might be hidden. You might be hiding this or something might be hidden. Uh, Pisces energy. We do have the strength card. Leo energy. Someone getting the strength to do something. Maybe someone getting the strength to speak about their emotions. They might hit them in the past. That could be coming out too. Okay, what about the Six of Pentacles? What's the scoop on the Six of Pentacles? Let's see. I like this card. This Five of Visions. This princess is running down a path after the ball. The ball goes into the water. Into the deep water. And she's looking at it like, oh, I lost it. But sometimes what you think that you're losing might be a blessing in disguise. Because... This frog is actually the prince once he is kissed. So this frog is trying to sneak a kiss here. <laughs> so something that might, you might have felt like you lost out on that um, might turn into be something. I mean, there's still, with the, like, with the five of cups, three cups are spilt, two cups are still up. There's still possibilities here. So there is a possibility with the six of pentacles that something can work out in your favor. Okay, what about... The Six of Wands. Okay, but someone's stuck in their head here. We have Eight of Challenges. Someone's stressing out. Someone's really stuck in their head about something here. Okay. 
could be you, it could be someone else, but you're doing well here. I think it's someone else might be worried that they lost their opportunity with you. Okay, what about a Knight of Wands? Ooh. Okay, so we have here the Forest Lord. So this would be Aries energy. This would be someone in charge. Um, someone who has control over the forest here. So someone um, someone's coming in maybe and they're, they're trying to take control of a situation. Or they're speaking their mind here to you. <laughs> Unless it's you doing something here. Because you could be the representative of the Knight of Swords plus the Forest Lord. Okay, what about the Justice? Oh, three of challenges. Okay, so someone's trying to make something right for how they hurt you in the past. This person here is actually, in the story in this, is that this father is leaving son and daughter in the forest. Figures it'll be more humane for the animals to get them than for them to starve, slowly starve to death. It's breaking his heart, but he's doing this, figuring it's the best thing to do. It's very sad, isn't it? So someone might have hurt you somehow, some way, and they they want to come back and make things right with you. Okay, what about the star? We have here sunlight. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this? You have the star and the sunlight. This is a very, very happy time. This is the happiest positive card in the deck. Leo energy again. You could be dealing with Leo. But you could be really shining bright, getting a lot of attention here. Or someone coming in here to make things right with you is going to make you very happy. Whatever they're doing here. And it, isn't this interesting? You have the star, the sunlight, and the moon. You got it all. What about the moon, though? Why is the moon card here? What's going on with the moon? Ooh. Okay. So we have the seeker of challenges. Kind of interesting. Ari, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's sort of like this person is very brave, very strong. They want to take on the army. The horse is afraid. The horse is standing back saying, oh, no, I don't know about this one. So either you or somebody's coming to you. Maybe someone's someone who hid their feelings, held back, wants to come that forward now. This is a whole different energy. Someone's determined. Maybe that's the whole thing here with the strength card. Someone, either you, if you're doing something, or if someone's coming towards you, has the strength now to do what they need to do. Feels very well protected, too. On the shield here is a white raven. And we have owl here, and we have the white raven here. Communication. Spiritual communication. I feel like someone's actually getting divine guidance to do this whether it's you or your person but is having the um the determination to do this i mean with the like with the knight of swords failure failure is not an option but there is the two of spells here someone's trying to decide how to do this which way to do this two different paths two different options two different ways to doing something that's what's coming up with the two of spells here Trying to determine what to do here. Wow. Okay, I like this. This feels like you're really doing, you know what you're doing here. And things are going to be moving along quickly for you. Things are going to go in your favor, it feels like. If things felt stagnant for a while, well, it had to be. It's like things, have, I, I get the biggest kick out of this, the animal console here. It's like someone, this has something to do with your family life, your home life. And everybody's gathering together to make a decision. And if someone has been a big troublemaker, I almost feel like a big baby or something too with this. I'm, I don't know why. I love this card. I, there's something about this this um, card here. I love the guy's face. <laughs> it's um, someone trying to be like a big bully maybe. And that's the, the thing is that you guys all came together and said, no, we're not tolerating this. You This is no longer acceptable. Okay, I like this reading for you guys. I think things are going in your favor and you're standing up to do whatever you need to do here. I mean, you could be here, the, the Forest Lord, too. Let's get a, um, the word on this Knight of Swords. What's going on with this Knight of Swords? We have Career. A Tower. New Start. Okay, so this could be a boss then, even. 
Maybe there's someone coming in that you're dealing with that's a boss. Maybe, I mean, someone might lose their job, get fired for whatever reason. It might be, you know, rejection is God's protection. It could be something and it's going to be a new start. Or there's someone that's interested you as far as who you work with. And they're going to surprise you and, they, and there's going to be a new start. But whatever is happening here in your career is going to bring in some kind of new start for you. It's going to surprise you. Scorpio Aries energy with the tower. It's something you're not expecting. But there is justice coming. So everything, like whatever happened here, it's all turning in your favor. It's so, whatever you had to go through, it's like, just know you had to go through it in order to get to where you're, you're going to be here. And it's going to be in a very good place. I mean, a lot of times we it's necessary for us to suffer in order to appreciate what we gain here. Okay, let's see. So I would say with this three of swords here, this father figured out a way to feed their his children and not have to leave them for the animals. And this these children are thinking, okay, we'll just wait until dad comes back. Hmm. No, it's kind of sad. All right, let's see what signs we have here. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, whoa. Gemini. Taurus. Virgo. And Cancer. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, and Cancer. Okay, now... For the letters, we're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for their first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, and you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have Q, K, B, D, P, K, C, A, T, oh, we have a cat here, <laughs> F, F. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are Q, K, B, D, P, K, C, A, T, F, F. Okay, now for the names. Let's see what names want to come up here. 11 or more names, please. Ooh, Perquan came out. Ooh, I love when they pop out. And then these are anxious. <laughs> they're, they're anxious to talk to you. Or something. Okay, I think. Okay, so this one jumped out for Quan. F-U-R-Q-A-N. Renee jumped out. I think this one jumped out too, right? Renee spelled R-E-N-E-E. -E. Lori spelled L-O-R-R-I. Chanel. C-H-E-N-N-E-L-L. -L. And I think Vicky jumped out too, which is V-I-K-K-I. Okay, Max, Jerry, spelled G-E-R-R-Y, Ambreen, A-M-B-R-E-E-N, Somnali, S-O-N-A-L-I, Irina, E-R-I-N-A, I'm so, sorry if I did not pronounce your names right. And we have Surdy, C-E-R-D-Y, exactly 11. I love it. Okay, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Go check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more and at this time and one of your other signs. If this, this if I can speak, if this does not resonate with you. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.